Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on the PlayStation 4. In the last episode, we got here to Halloween Town? Christmas Town 2! Alright, let's just go ahead and proceed to actually find Santa Claus. All right, looks like we have some new Heartless to destroy, including these Driller Moles and a new Heartless called a Toy Soldier. Now, you actually want to uh, make sure that you have Reflect enabled, uh, because Reflect can actually do a ton of damage. Now, we haven't used that yet, but we did receive it from the battle with Pete in Timeless River. Uh, so, I highly recommend using Reflect as often as you can. Now, you can pretty much, for the most part, just wait until something attacks you and use Reflect. You'll notice that we will be using Reflect throughout the remainder of this game to just do a lot of damage. Luckily, Donald was able to heal us there, which is good, because we were taking a lot of damage. And then we can go ahead and actually spin this, which is going to do some damage to the other toy soldier and allow us to actually get some damage in on it, including maybe... Oh, there's a chest here, a mithril stone. I did not mean to open that. Haha, <laughs> embarrassing. Christmas is a big trouble. Gorge, we can't let anything bad happen to Christmas. That's where Sandy Claus lives. Yo, Sandy Claus, you live in a beautiful home, dude. All right, right here we can grab a light uh, mega potion. The lightning stone is actually right over there. Right there we grab that mithril shard, but right here we can grab a lightning stone, which is the item that I thought the other one was. My bad. Lightning stone's always worth it. Uh, there is more, too, if I'm not entirely mistaken. There's a chest right up here that we can grab, which is going to be a mithril gem. All right, and now we can enter into the house that Santa Claus is in. You'll notice this carousel's here. You can actually spin it. It will do damage to nearby Heartless, so remember that because it'll be useful in the future. All right, let's go ahead and head and say hi to Santa Claus. Did you come to see if you're on my nice list? Your name? Um, Sora, sir. Let's see. Sora. Here you are. Well, according to my list, Sora, seven years ago, you told everyone you did not believe in Santa Claus. Ooh, that is unfortunate. Ah. I'm a Am I on your list too by any chance? It's me, Jack. Jack Skellington? What sort of trouble did you bring this time? This time? It's a long story. So we find ourselves in Santa's house. We can go ahead and read this. The merry-go-round is malfunctioning. Now it's dangerous. Oh no. Be sure to grab this, which is another daylight puzzle piece. We can go ahead and grab an AP boost and of course a map to Christmas Town. There's a lot of items here in Santa Claus's house, as well as another puzzle piece sitting right here. Let's grab that. A frontier puzzle piece. This is probably packed with Santa's red outfits. Probably. Uh, a fireplace that fills the room with a cozy warmth right here. What was that noise? It came from the factory. Uh-oh. The entrance to the toy factory is over there. We've been so busy lately, the toy factory is running 24-7. So much for sleep. Hmm. Sounds like slave labor. Sounds like slave labor. Now, there's nothing in here. Candy Cane Lane we could head out to. But let's actually head into the actual factory. You could save here if you wanted to, but I think we'll be okay. Silence. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. That fool Jack brought Sora and the others with him. Now we can deal with all of them at once. What do you want us to do? Who 
who's there? Busted! Oh! It's Lock, Chalk, and Barrel! Not those three. I assure you they're not with us. Well, whatever the case, they've been quite naughty. Catch them and bring them back here. They're going to get a lecture. Uh, Mr. Claus, I wanted to talk to you about Christmas first. It'll have to wait. I need to see how things are progressing in my workshop. Come on, Jack. Let's catch those little pranksters. Oh... All right, then. Hmm. Looks like they left us some footprints to follow, boys. So, we have footprints. We can examine them and uh, just follow them. We'll literally just follow these all to where they lead. We can keep examining them if they want. Oh no, we have Artless. Let's make sure we just kill them as fast as we possibly can. Luckily, we have that Aerial Ace, which is uh, pretty useful to be honest with you. Now again, you wanna be kinda of trying to kill these Driller Moles as, quick, as quickly as you can, just because they can be really, really obnoxious. And it's worth mentioning that when you kill those toy soldiers, they give you about 109 experience each, which is super useful, super, super good. Now, I, of course, wouldn't uh, recommend switching to any type of uh, mode here. Like, I wouldn't recommend switching to Valor form uh, because of the way that the fights happen. Or, uh, not Valor form, Wisdom form, I should say. Let's head up to Yuletide Hill. Now, we're actually going to save here, and we're going to switch both Donald and Goofy into our party. So, let's do that real quick. All right, now that we're saved, let's head into the Hinterlands, back to... Chris, uh, Halloween Town. Now, we are, of course, going to be jumped as soon as we walk in here by some Heartless. Now, of course, as always, I recommend just killing them, right? Because, we, one, we need the money. You can see that these footprints are still leading this way. And not only do we need the money, we need the experience points. Uh, because we're playing on critical mode and we have that 25% reduction to uh, XP earned, we want to kill everything that we can whenever we can. So let's head right into the graveyard. I was so looking forward to destroying that ridiculous Christmas town. But now that Sora and those imbeciles are here, I think a change of plan is called for. Revenge before pleasure, after all. What kind of revenge? The magnificent malevolent kind, of course. That sounds really bad. Like Oogie's kind of bad. And that's super duper bad. Oogie Boogie, that bag of incensed insects. Hmm, how intriguing. And where might I find him? Jack and his dumb, stupid friends destroyed him! Ah, yes. Now I remember. <laughs> More intriguing still. I believe I'll bring your master back for you. <laughs> Well, that can't be good. All right, we're here in the graveyard. Let's proceed. Now, of course, we are going to be attacked by more Heartless. So I'm just going to fast forward killing them. Okay, we cleared those guys out real quick. So let's just proceed up to the new area that we can go to. It's now open. Uh, probably one of the most stylistic areas, I guess you could say. Like, if you, if you have seen Nightmare Before Christmas, you have seen the image that lays before us. Let's head to Curly Hill. <laughs> I feel like a million bugs. <laughs> I really owe you one for this, Maleficent. Indeed you do, Oogie. Do you remember Sora, Donald, and Goofy? Do I remember them? Ha! You're too much. I'll never forget what they did to me. Uh, what was it they did to me? Squashed you like a bug! That sounds bad. And Jack helped. Even worse. They creamed you. That's right. 
That's right. That's one thing I won't be forgetting anytime soon. It's the last thing I remember. And it's the only thing I'll remember until I teach those clowns not to mess with Mr. Oogie Boogie. Yes, that's right. That's the spirit. And I have the perfect plan already in mind. Have you ever heard of Christmas Town? Mr. Oogie! Wake up! Wake up! We want to see how bad you are! <sighs> it seems he needs more time to recover. You three, stay here and keep Sora and the others occupied. My heart is with her. But do not fail me. There they are. Stop them! Tie them down! Get them! So now we have a boss fight against the Prison Keeper. This thing has over a thousand health, which is quite a lot. And you'll notice that it will actually swallow one of the three uh, lock, shock, or barrel, and we'll actually get new abilities based on those. Now, you don't have to worry about that too much because we can pretty much, for the most part, uh, just focus them down, at least for now. Now, you have the option of doing multiple different types of things. You can see that I actually did very little damage to us. Uh, but because we have such strong aerial finishes on us, we can pretty much just stay on top of him as long as we want and hopefully keep him just so preoccupied with us that he actually can't do anything, which is which is the hope here. Now, he did blow us away there with that new one as he swallows a new lock shock or barrel, depending. So he he swallows uh, uh, he swallows lock first. Now, we need to use cure here. Now, you have pretty much one use of your drive gauge in this battle, I would say. So you have to decide if you want to start off the battle by using Valor Form, which is not a bad idea. You can do some pretty significant damage right off the bat to it, or wait and use vis Wisdom Form. So I kept my options open here, and I actually decided that we are going to... Oh, now we gotta be careful. Uh, I decided to keep... Uh, wisdom form available to us for the end of the fight because this boss actually has a phase where it will get even stronger. Now we need to see if we can dodge these and get right back on top of him and start attacking him. Now, luckily he can't actually do a lot of damage to us uh, when we're when we're right on top of him when he's doing that. Uh, but I will try to explain uh, what they do a little bit later. It's kind of hard to do that right now because we're trying to lay into the fight. So it's kind of hard to pay attention to who he swallows. However, the colors that actually appear uh, those are actually going to be a lot better. Now, you can deflect those big fireballs back at him, uh, which is, you know, worth mentioning. Now, as soon as we get him down, we are actually going to switch to our Wisdom Form, and it's here that we're actually just going to lay into him with our Wisdom Form and just shoot as much as possible, because we can stay away, because now he has access to all three of his abilities, and as you can see, he's going to be challenging us, and we are just want to stay away from him as far as we can and just hit him as much as possible, and down he goes. Sora learns Flash Step, Donald learns Hyper Healing, and Goofy and Jack have their HP increased. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> that was fun. Let's go see if Mr. Oogie's ready. Oh shit. Oogie? Isn't he the one who tried to take over Halloween Town before? That's him, fellas. I hope you're ready for trouble. Oh, we're ready. Found it, and now I've lost my way. Oh, this is utter foolishness. I should be getting ready for Christmas. Is that you, Mr. Santa Claus? Yes, but please call me Santa Claus. Of course, Mr. Santa Claus. I was hoping I'd find you here. You see, it's very important that you go back to Christmas Town. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen if you don't. Well, I am behind on my preparations. All right, tell Jack I'll be waiting for him at home. He had something to say to me about Christmas. But that's just it. Please, go home and lock the door. And if Jack knocks, 
Don't open it. There. The large one in red. All I gotta do is kidnap him? That's right. Lock him up at once. Then begin destroying Christmas Town. That's sure to make Sora and the other fools come running. And then they're all mine! Yes. And in the meantime, I'll turn Santa Claus into Santa Heartless. <laughs> <laughs> Are we done? Who's there? <gasps> What's wrong, Sally? Jack, Oogie's kidnapped Santa Claus. Oh no! Guys, like you didn't see that coming, and he's headed for Christmas Town. Come on, Jack, let's hurry. Indeed, let us hurry. So we can talk to these guys if we want, uh, but they're not gonna be too much of a big deal. Where'd Oogie come from? He tried to control the Heartless last time. What's he up to now? Hmm, I wonder. Then we can talk to the good old Sally, who says Oogie kidnapped Santa Claus. He went through the hinterlands, you have to stop him. Oogie comes back, and the first thing he does is try to spoil my Christmas. All right, so I can talk about the prison keeper now. So when he swallows Locke, his hands are going to turn red. He's going to shoot big fireballs at you, which you saw. You noticed when we did that. Uh, these are new enemies, actually, right in front of us. Uh, these guys are uh, part of the same family as the other guys, and they also give us energy gems, which is pretty darn useful. Uh, those are actually called Emerald Blues, which are interesting. They whiz around using spells to deal damage. Uh, they use arrow to surround themselves with wind for the most part. So if you can kill them before they use that, that's a really good idea. Really good idea. Okay, so the prison keeper will use different attacks to try to, uh, you know, mess up the good old, the good old, uh, Sora and gang. So he uses the red when he swallows Locke. When he uses shock, he turns yellow and will start spinning in circles, releasing energy balls as it rises and falls. And when Barrel is swallowed, the prison keeper's hands will turn green and try to get in close and attack. So as long as you stay far away, you'll be totally, totally fine. All right, let's head into Yuletide Hill. Wait, something's not quite right. I know what it is. We just need a little more of that boogie flair. I do hope our jolly old friend is looking forward to becoming a heartless. <laughs> Clumsy oaf! Are you still here? Why don't you oogie on back where you came from? You're crabbing my style! Have you already forgotten who brought you back, you insolent bag of bugs? Hmm. Sorry. Can't remember a thing. Very well, you ingrate. You'll rue the day you spurned my help! <laughs> Don't shut this house. So I highly recommend saving real quick. All right, after you've saved, we can talk to Sally, who's just gonna say, go rescue Santa. You got it. So let's head all the way down to the factory where we know Oogie's got Santa. Now, you can skip these enemies if you so choose, which I would actually recommend, uh, just because you don't want to take damage because we're about to have a boss fight. So let's head right into Santa's house. Oh no, is everything okay in here? Something's terrible's happened. Santa Claus is all wrapped up. Why aren't you guys helping? All right, let's head into here for our last boss fight here in Christmas Town. Jack Skellington! Oh, Oogie! 
<laughs> you and I have a score to settle, Jack. Same goes for your little sidekicks. What are you planning to do with Sandy Claus? Who? Sandy Claus? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and why is this roly-poly red guy here? Time to go, Grandpa! Uh. And now we get to face Oogie Boogie himself as he proceeds to attack us. Uh, this is actually kind of a strange fight because he's going to be up there the entire time. He's actually not really going to come down to fight us. Instead, what we have to do is use the reaction command 4 to hit those presents up a total of 12 times. 12 presents need to be up in that lift, which will cause it to break and come down to us. Now, you'll notice that the conveyor belts each have a portal on the opposite side of us that turn from red to blue. The blue connects each other. Uh, which is a mechanic that we need later once he actually starts switching conveyor belts, which he actually doesn't do until the first time he falls. Now, for the most part, no matter what, he's only going to fall three times, just like he did just now, and you can just lay into him. Eventually, he's going to go invincible like he just did, and we can't actually do any damage. So that's why I don't recommend using any drive forms whatsoever while you're fighting him. Uh, eventually, he's going to actually change his phases. So you notice that that fist that's coming down on us is going to do a lot of damage, uh, but it's easily, easily avoidable. You can see the shockwave that it emits. It's really easy to get around. These little bags, though, contain Heartless. If you attack them, you can stun the Heartless before it actually spawns. No matter what, though, a Heartless will spawn. You can let them just go into the spikes, and the spikes will actually kill them on the opposite end, uh, but you don't want to hit those. We're getting pretty close to knocking him down for a second time, but he will want to actually switch over, as he's about to do right now. So we can attack this bag real quick to get this Heartless stopping us, uh, stop uh, it from attacking us. And also, it's a wise idea to maybe get some quick experience. Now we can use the portal to move right, and we are on the rightmost conveyor belt now. That's how those portals work, that's what you want to do. And then you can start hitting the presents back up to him. This actually should be enough to make him fall one more, I believe? Uh, should be enough to break the lift that he's in. It's a really strange fight. Uh, because there's nothing really directly that you do, I guess, uh, besides doing those, those, uh, those fours, if you will. All right, now we were able to break it, we were able to get him through, and we had to use a cure there because, uh, unfortunately, that other Heartless wasn't taken down fast enough, and he kind of was doing a lot of damage to us. So, as you can see, he's already in his final health bar, and he's about to go invincible right now. Uh, so we can't actually attack him whatsoever, yet again. Now he's going to make the conveyor belts go quick. As long as you jump, you'll be fine. Now we need to go back to the centermost, uh, the center conveyor belt, uh, which he'll go to every single time. Unfortunately, I took the wrong one and moved all the way left, which really sucks. Uh, so we have to wait for this one to be to move right. There we go, perfect. Or move center, I should say. Uh, not move right. Uh, and now we just sit here and wait again for presence. It's a really long fight. And in this final phase, he's going to do these, uh, these lightning beams that are going to come down. Easily, easily avoidable. I've never hit them uh, at any point. You can literally just walk around them. They're so big and obvious, and their hitbox is actually very tiny. So he's going to move all the way to the left now. That's his first time on the left. Uh, so we need to wait for the portal. It's already there. Uh, we need to wait for the portal and wait for this fit fist to pass, and then we can actually go in there. Uh, and this will despawn the Heartless that are attacking us, which is pretty darn handy. Uh, and now we can just wait. And again, I'm telling you, this is a really easy fight. It's just really long and not complicated. 
It's just annoying. It's just a really annoying fight. Um, but it's cool. It's cool that we get to take Ubi down. He's always been, uh, see, as you can see, that did uh, a tremendous amount of damage. Even in the first game, he was more of like a, a mechanical boss than he was like a, oh, just attack him a lot. Right there, Sora hit level 25, which increases our defense, which is beautiful on critical mode. Yet again, I got hit by another one of those because I suck at this game. Uh, we need to move center, though. Uh, oh, oh, there we go. Good job, Sora. And now we can finish him off. He only needs a couple more until he falls out of the lift and then we can end his day. So just wait for these, wait for these beams to cross, perfect. Uh, they move faster than the present, so don't get confused on that. It's a little odd when you actually see them, uh, but they do move slower or faster than the present, so you'll still be able to get it. There we go, and we will be able to, as oh my god, these are the most annoying heartless in the world. Uh, we will, he, he died on the thing. We will be able to just go ahead and uh, even though Donald and Goofy are both dead, we can just finish him off right here. And we get the, an item slot, Donald's HP increase, Goofy learned once more, and Jack also got some stuff. Good job, boys. Christmas is safe again. Perfect. I'd better get down to business. Huh? Yup, you ought to stick to Halloween and spooky stuff. Dad. Wonderful! Why, I love it! Thank you, Sally. Jack, do you really have to do this? But I make a splendid Sandy Claus. <laughs> Listen here, Jack Skellington. You saved me in Christmas as well, and for that I'm very grateful. But please promise you won't cause any more trouble. And about that suit. Don't even think about taking over from me again. I just thought you could use a little help this year, Mr. Claus. You must be exhausted from all the preparations. And I wouldn't mind a second chance to get this Christmas thing right. <sighs> yes, being Santa Claus can be tiring. But let me tell you something, Jack. Seeing the happy faces of little children when they discover the presents I've brought them makes it all worthwhile, year after year after year. And you, Jack, you love to make them gasp and see them shiver with fright. What if someone tried to take all of that away from you? We both have very important jobs to do, Jack. Mine is to take care of Christmas, and yours is to take care of Halloween. So we each have to do the very best we can. After all, you're the face of Halloween, Mr. Jack Skellington. The Pumpkin King, the Knight of Nightmares. And even though you're fascinated with Christmas, Jack, Halloween is your true specialty. Don't you see? Children rely on both of us to do our jobs. Halloween needs your attention, and I know Christmas needs mine. Urgently. You're right. I am the Master of Terror. And if Halloween has become too routine, all I have to do is think of something new that'll really make them scream. Jack! Oh, Jack! I've been looking for you everywhere. We must go over the plans for next Halloween. I can't do a thing without your approval. So true. Good luck, Jack Skellington. Well, there he goes. Yes, and I've got lots of names to check and preparations to finish. Ooh. Oh! Jack, this is no time for joking. What's this? Perhaps a bit too festive for our Halloween needs.
We better get going. Before you do, Sora, I believe there's a friend of yours who, if I recall correctly, was the one who told you there's no such thing as Santa Claus. Oh, yeah. He did say that. Be sure to give him my very best wishes. I will, but... Do you know where I can find Riku? No, but don't give up. Remember, if you believe in Riku, you will find him. Just as you found me. Right. And we get the Magnet spell. Emits a power that draws in the enemy. Gonna be useful for uh, Atlantica, in case you forgot. And we have one last world to go to. A new episode was added to Atlantica, so we could go there, or we could head to Sunlight Storm and check out the new world, which is exactly what we're going to do in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, showing up on screen right now is some things that you can press. And remember, never give up. Never surrender to the powers of Oogie Boogie. Sure. <laughs>